In today's video, we are playing with the SIBO Airbelt C3 Power. As pointed out by Mr. Hoover, but with a little bit of a difference. You see, for a long time, this rug has been far too filthy and the pile's really quite stiff. So, what I thought we would do is a little bit of carpet cleaning. But I'm going to need some help. Which I have here, or his feet here. <laughs> and we're going to turn this into a little bit of a comparison. So let's get on with it and, well, see if we can clean my rug. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? The lovely Mr Hoover Lux. It's been my absolute dream to be able to clean your rug. I know, my rug does need a good going over. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're doing this is mainly because you gave me this bag of CBO Yes I did, many, many moons years ago. ago. And I've done nothing with it, and that's partly because I've had nothing to do it with. I've got rid of the DCO4 absorbs, I've got rid of that quite quickly after I filmed that video. But then this came along, and if you remember, the power head turns on with the main, mo with the main motor off. <laughs> and apparently that's because it is designed to zoom in to OP, and obviously you turn the motor on, and you suck it back up. So we're going to basically do that and see, although with a slight twist, which we'll get to in a minute. For now though, we need to vacuum the rug, and because Mr Hooverlux has never used one. No, I never have. have. I don't have a feeling that this is going to end into a big mess test video. Well, no, there'll be lots of mess with OP. But for now, I think I'm going right. to let him set it up and pre vacuum the rug. Because if I read these off camera while Mr. Dorian does that, it's all in. There you go. Directions for use. Doesn't really say how to use it. Check the colour fasteners. There we go, vacuum thoroughly, step one. There you go, so that is now the motor off. But because it's plugged in, it spins the power head. The power, I, it seems a bit far-fetched that that's how the duo P system works. But, yeah, if you turn it off on the machine, it turns it off, like fully. Ah, right, okay. But obviously you then can't turn it on with the controls, so huh. you've got to turn on the machine. So, so this is gonna that runs all the time. You switch it on. I'm not entirely sure if it's right, but it seems a thing. That doesn't seem. It's not broken. Right, it's the actual manual thing. Yeah. So that just goes on the top. If you stand at the back of the vacuum pump, don't put the part of it. I'll turn the button now. And what setting is that on there? Uh, 1500. So let's try it on full 1500. That's a lot. Mm. I was going to stand at the back and break the fork. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. I got it the other way. I tried to do it, so the buggy proved the duo thing, it proved it did. So that's the way the mug might have been. Yeah, you've got a full power, it's like it's a plug. Not used this no, it's really nice. I don't think it's quite as good as the big one. Like, now the full X is quite a lot of the feet. But it's doing a good job. It's screwing in it. Yeah. It's not very loud. Very manoeuvrable. Picking up bits, I can hear it. That'll be the voice from the videos that we've done. Oh yeah, there we go. In fact, we may as well leave it like that now. This isn't the video with us. It's a video for the machine. Let's turn that off then. There's a parking sauce on the machine. So we have a clean rug. Now, apparently Mr. Hooverlux has done this before, so oh, yes. again I'm I'm basically <coughs> going to oh my gosh. hand over the reins to him to sprinkle it about, because I don't know how much to put down. This is looking. I don't know how much to put down, you see. I'm just going to feel free to put lots down. 
Cut a corner off. Yeah. And the powder. It smells very nice. Ooh. But it smells <coughs> of, the smell reminds me toilet of cleaner. um a record cleaning solution. It smells like toilet duck. <laughs> and it's kind of it feels like it looks like in the bag um silly silly um sand. Yeah. You know the kinetic, kinetic sand? sand? Yeah, it sounds like that. I've got some of that, we're not bringing that into the bag. No. Right, it's okay. So we're doing the whole rug? Yeah, the whole rug. Not Right, you do the shaken back, I put the freshness back, you use the and use the freshness I've got back. some shaken back, but I'm not, I haven't got anything that I want to use it with yet. Because when your carpet smells fresh, you move those too. I must do a shaken back video one day. This is horrible. That would be stuff. hilarious. Please let me film it. It's under the scene. Be careful what you do. We'll see what we can come up with. Well, that's pretty much what I used. Okay. So that used a third of the bag. Okay. So obviously now we need to groom this in. And I can't really walk anywhere else but in front of the camera. So <laughs> sorry about that. And what we're going to use to groom it in is the... Hey! The Sebo C3. But also I thought, what a top-notch opportunity to try the dry star out. Obviously it's not going to suck it up, but it will groom it. So, the idea is, is that basically Dawn is going to have that side of the rug, and I'm going to have this side, and we're going to groom it in really, so basically, start your engines, how long do we have to groom it in for? Uh, oh yeah, I didn't read that, did I? Uh, Los Instrucciones, uh, let's the find more. English. There's, like pictures. There's pictures and everything. Oh yeah. But the okay. third one down is English. Uh, vacuum thoroughly, Check. spot clean if you need to, yeah. Yeah, spread evenly, Check. brush in thoroughly, oh. vacuum out when dry. No. Do it until it disappears. Uh, da, da, da. For all carpet, for coverings, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, no, no. No actual time. No actual times. Well, I should just do it until it disappears. Yeah. But I'm not going to come up like the ball work. Sand, It'll be interesting to see what they look like on the inside. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, exactly. absorb was Cause, a mess. Because this is brand new, pretty much. Obviously, that's just to be bringing down. And that's been used, but it's still fairly clean. So, you've only got to turn that on, and yep. it comes on. So, it disappeared in quite nicely. Oh, so yours is booming, you hit a lot deeper than mine is. That's the other problem it is. I've got to hold my finger on this button. Which is actually really painful. Softening the pile, we yes. have track marks coming from all angles. And there's that bit there will be interesting, but I don't think it's going to come completely clean, sadly. It's grinding up the lumps very well. Yes. But yours is making it disappear while it's still on the top of it. Yeah, and this is quite gentle, so. Yeah. Can I just put a line across just to see if it will grind it in more? Yeah, oh, just it's just it's across here. It's yeah. a lot flipping quiet. So. Yeah, it yeah. does grind it in better. Whereas if I do it with this, even very slowly, it doesn't touch. It, it doesn't touch it. So yeah, that is a bit grinding really better. Well, they mine does need quite deep track marks. But already it's not getting any of the stains out, which parallels what we found with the Dyson Zor. Can you come and do my call? Yeah, do it. Because <laughs> I'm. I'm saying it's not sucking it up, it's just. But it does seem to be. 
happening into the carpet because it yeah. seems to be slower. Yeah. So I don't know if that's making a difference. Right. Or just gentle rubbing it in. Mm. But again, I'm not seeing any kind of stain removal yet. No. It feels cold, but I wouldn't call it damp. Just out of curiosity, I just want to rub it with yeah. my hands. You want a stiff brush? I just want to... I don't know if it's old. Yeah, try... That's carbon dust. That's why I dropped a flipping carbon brush. It does feel wet. It does feel damp. Well, they're... Yeah, they're, they're damp micro sponges, aren't they? But the carpet does feel like um, after I put my vax on. As long as it goes damp. softer, it'll be lovely. But yeah, it's not doing anything, is it? Let's leave that on there and see how it does. Yeah. But I mean, we can always run a carpet washer over it one day if I get one. Or yeah, I should have, next time I come down, I'll bring my vax down. Yeah. But I say, I say, even if it just refreshes the pile and makes it soft, because even Dorian can uh, attest to this, you see it on my videos, it skips, because the pile's so stiff, Yeah. stuff skips across it. So I think maybe this, cleaning it with that, and then maybe running a turbo master or something over it to you know, wake it up, might work. Oh my goodness. That's not bad at all. If it's like the Dyson, it'll clean itself off. Once the powder dries, yeah, there's it sucks on the itself up. Yeah. But, it's not as bad as the Zorbster one. Oh, the Zorbster. What's the head of that one look like? What well, are the brush strips gone really soft because they're damp? Um, yeah, they are kind of soft. On yeah. the Dyson, they were really soft. <laughs> That's even worse. But they are stiffer. Yes, they're much stiffer. Yeah. But it's made it... Filthy. <laughs> Absolutely filthy that is. And this won't clean itself out either. Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh. Okay. The SIBO is winning this. Yeah, that's too rough. Yeah. That is just sort of like getting it stuck inside it. But that is its sole entire purpose, is to do this. And but this is doing it better, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, granted, we've got to go around the edges and suck up all the spatter. But. What do you think of the handle grip on the hose? I found it too small. It's too short. It's really. Um, oops. The handle the door grip is here. Small. It should be longer. A door has got quite a small girly hand. I do have quite small girly hands. Uh, yeah, I, I found that. It's just too short. But that's basically it for this part of our video. Yes. What's going to happen now is we're going to go away and do other stuff for now. Also, hey. while it dries, and then we'll come back and. We're just finding something interesting to vacuum up. We either find something interesting to vacuum it off with, or we just use the SIBO and do it all at once. And then we take the bag out of it and yes. box it up away. We we'll yes. use that SIBO. Yeah, we we'll use the SIBO. We just can't sort of work out how much it picks up. Yeah. But, you know. So, in a second, you will see us standing exactly where we are now, basically, but vacuuming off the rug. So, we shall see you in an hour. So, we are back nearly four hours later. Whoops. Which has given this ample time to dry, and the rug is now dry. It doesn't feel that damp anymore, no? No, it feels bone dry. I can't say the pile at the minute, before we vacuumed it up, feels as soft as the Vorwerk Cobasan did. That made the pile very soft. The Dyson powder didn't really do it either. Mm. This doesn't seem to have fluffed up the pile. Now, but mm. we know it hasn't cleaned it. Yeah. And it doesn't seem to have fluffed the pile, but what my glamorous assistant is going to do, and I'm going to take my phone off of here and put it on his fancy gimbal, <laughs> so I can get some nice action shots, is clean this up, because whether it's worked or not, it can't stay, oh wow, oops, there you go, that's the head dried out, 
Luckily, the Sebo has a heifer fleece bag in it, not, not the paper bags that came with that box, because it's of that era. So, yeah, we'll get reset up and we'll get this cleared up because it can't really stay there anyway, can it? Aha, uh -huh, so there you go. You have it in your hand. Yep, we swap. I'm vacuuming it up now, so we're going to go full bore, 1500 watts. We'll hit. And just get this up, really. Oh, look, we can rub that in a bit now. Oh. No soften at all. Definitely, but the pile seems to have been revived a bit. Ah, but no, you see, it's still... It's still juddering. Still juddering. And where we moved this mat, I can't push it with wow. the pile very easily. Fresh. Yeah, it does smell fresh. I will, I will give it that. Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait. wait. That is intolerable like that. There's a reason the rug is always the way it is, <laughs> <laughs> and that's because it's just easier to vacuum. Oh. It's so funny how carpets and rugs just have that it's thing. Because then it, it judges on the back of stroke, but at the very least. It feels a bit soft on the foot. I don't know how much that is just a placebo effect. No, I, I really do think it does condition the fibres of the carpet. Yeah, it's done something. But it does not clean it. No, oh no, there's no cleaning it was. I don't even think it's lifted up much of the powder. No, really? I think all the powder. But, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I've always been sceptical about this, ever since the Dyson Zorb. Yeah. And even though there's been videos made to, you know, discount what I said as rubbish, I still stand by it. It's good if you've got a brand new carpet, to keep it fresh. I, f I feel the same way. I, I really okay. don't understand. It's, you know, yeah. it's like... Or if you've got the proper SIBO applicator, like I've seen. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, I, but then again, I still don't think it's any better. Yeah. Well, what I've got to do now is, because it makes a bit of a mess if Mr. Hoover has pans around the perimeter of the room. Yes. All the powder that fell off... So I'll just swap into the straight suction head for it because we may as well stick with the seat bone because I'll then take the bag out and bin it. I love that suction head. It's even better now because now it doesn't turn on. Now you can hear how quiet the actual machine is. Yes. So that's... And you can still just about hear the air flow. Yes. And it does have really good airflow. When I found this to come back, I had it set somewhere here. Wow. And just occasionally put the turbo head on for, you know, a special treat. Because even on the rug, I mean, if we put the rug back now, because, yeah, that's as good as that's going to get. Yeah, I think I need to start sniffing out a carpet washer, don't I? Yes, you do. You I haven't got Mr. any Hoover carpet washers. I need, to, I need Mr. Hoover loves his help to put that back properly in a minute because it tucks under the chair. Oh, OK, yeah. But yeah, even on the, the, the steps. Another video with the Sebo C3. The first video. Hey, well, I can park this. <laughs> the first video with Duo P. I don't know. I think we can get another video out of this stuff, at least with Sebo versus Dyson versus Vorwerk. Yes, definitely. Somehow, somewhere, <laughs> billowing out everywhere. But for now, I think we proved the point. This is actually the last video you'll see this is why it's going to go back in its box for now because it's going to be easy to store so 
There we go, I can take the bag out that is still in there for 12 vacuums in 12 months and get his out of the way. So, thank you to Mr. Hooverlux for helping You're very me welcome. Today. Thank you for watching it and we shall see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.